In Trump's view, the economy works well when the stock market does well. But a big reason stocks rise in value and don't fall as far as they would otherwise is stock buybacks. For years, corporations have spent most of their profits on buying back their own shares of stock instead of increasing the wages of their employees, whose hard work creates these profits. Stock buybacks are artificial efforts to interfere in the so-called free market to prop up stock prices. Because they create an artificial demand, they force stock prices above their natural level. With fewer shares in circulation, each remaining share is worth more. Buybacks don't create more or better jobs. Money spent on buybacks isn't invested in new equipment or research and development or factories or wages. It doesn't build a company. Buybacks don't grow the American economy. So why are buybacks so popular with corporate CEOs? Because a bigger and bigger portion of CEO pay has been in stocks and stock options rather than cash. So when share prices go up, executives reap a bonanza. The value of their pay from previous years also rises in what amounts to a retroactive and off-the-books pay increase on top of their already outrageous compensation. Now that the new corporate tax cut is pumping up profits, buybacks are on track to hit a record $800 billion this year. Buybacks were illegal until Ronald Reagan made them legal in 1982 just about the same time wages stopped rising for most Americans. Before then, a bigger percentage of corporate profits went into increasing workers' wages. Trump and Republicans branded their huge corporate tax cut as a way to make American businesses more profitable so they'd invest in more and better jobs. But since corporations were already using their profits for stock buybacks, there's no reason to believe they will use their tax windfall on anything other than more stock buybacks. Let's not compound the error. Make stock buybacks illegal, as they were before 1982.